away from her right now. Hey, what are you doing? I am protecting an innocent child from a creep. Now step back or I am calling the police. It's okay, sweetheart, come here. We'll call your parents together. I am her father. Oh, yeah, right. And I'm Taylor Swift. So what are you saying? I am saying there is no way you are this little girl's father. I mean, look at her and then look at you. Hey, back off. Not that it's any of your business, but we don't look alike because she is adopted. Uh -huh. But she is my daughter and we just bought this house. You bought this house. You really shouldn't judge a person before knowing their story. Come on, look at this one. No, they be good. No. No, it won't. It will be. No. I'm what sure is he doing to her now? Yes, social services. I'd like to make a report. May I help you Are you Mr. Hernandez? I am. And is that your daughter? She is. What, what is this about? Can you prove that, sir? We received a call claiming that children were being trafficked through this house. Uh, trafficked? Uh, uh, ho hold on. This is her adoption papers. Thank you. Sorry to have bothered you, sir. Here. Our apologies. Yeah. Wait! Where are you going? You can't just leave! What about this little girl? She's in danger! I should have known it was you! You're unbelievable, lady. I don't know what kind of song and dance you gave social services just now, but I'm not falling for it. I know there is something off here, and I am not going to stop digging until I find out what that is, for her sake. Olivia, is that all your father gave you for lunch? Doesn't he feed you? Sure he does. This is just what I like to eat. Oh no, this is unacceptable. Sweetheart, you are a growing girl. You need a proper lunch. It's okay, really. Please, everyone's looking at me. No, it is not okay. Olivia, your father should know better, or he has no business taking care of you. Now, come on, let's go. Where are we going? I want the nurse to check you out. Look at you. Your skin and bones. Come on. <sighs> All right, keep eating. From what I can tell, Olivia is a perfectly healthy young girl. What? No, that isn't possible. You should see what the guy who claims to be her father gave her for lunch. Well, she is slightly underweight, but she has a slender frame. It's nothing to be worried about. I knew it. I knew he wasn't feeding her properly. Thank you. No, that's not what I meant. Oh, oh yes, it is. Okay. Yes, social services? Wait, Hi. that's Excuse not... Excuse me. This is Angela Davis over at Twin Oaks Middle that's School. Not what I... Please. We have a situation here with one of our students and her adopted father. Mm-hmm. Yes. Precisely. This is Miguel. N no, no, just wait. Just, I'm on my way. I'm, I'm, I'm on. Wait, what's going on? This is my daughter. We are taking her for an exam at the hospital. Wait, why? There's been a complaint filed against you for mistreating this child. They claim she's been intentionally malnourished. That's ridiculous. It's simply not true. Oh, please. Enough with the lies, okay? We all have eyes. We see how thin she is. And that weak lunch you packed for her. Really? I've seen prisoners eat better. She's thin because of a medical condition. Again, with the lies. It's not a lie. It's colitis. It's a form of IBD. Keeps her from putting weight on, but I can prove it. 
Um, here's an email from her gastroenterologist for her new medicine. You give him a call if you'd like. We're so sorry to have troubled you again. What? Mr. Hernandez. What? Where are you going? What is wrong with you people leaving again? Can't you see she doesn't belong with him? Enough! What gives you the right? Olivia and I may not have the same blood, but she is my daughter. It's because of small-minded people like you that we had to leave Pittsburgh in the first place. And I'm not gonna let it happen again. What happened in Pittsburgh? Why do you care? It's okay, Dad. I'll tell her. Maybe then she'll understand. <laughs> you see, back at my old school, I used to get bullied every day for not having real parents. They call me all kinds of names. Tell me how my birth parents must have really hated me to just throw me away like trash. Every day it just got worse and worse. The bullying got so bad that I stopped wanting to go to school. And I love going to school. I love learning and everything about it. But I couldn't take the endless bullying. My dad tried to help. He tried to talk to the teachers and the principal. But that only made it worse. Most parents would just tell their kid to tough it out, not my dad. See, my dad loves me so much that when I finally told him how unhappy I was and I wanted to move, we did. I just wish people would stop judging us before hearing our story. Maybe then they'll understand how great my dad is and they will never call us names. You really moved across the country to make your daughter happy? I did. Even took a demotion and a pay cut to make it happen. And if I had to do it all again, I would. No hesitation. There's nothing I wouldn't do to keep her happy. I don't know what to say. I am so sorry. I should know better than to rush to judgments. Can you ever forgive me? Please? Yeah. Okay. For Olivia. Oh. Don't you worry about any of them. I will do everything in my power to make sure you feel at home here at your new school. All right? We all will, won't we? Yes! yes.